Hey everyone, this is Robbie from the Beaver Builder team. And today I want to do a tutorial showing you how to work with Beaver Themer and the Events Calendar plugin. We just released Beaver Themer 1.1 and it's got a new integration with the Events Calendar plugin that lets you style event pages very similar to this one. Although the techniques we're going to be talking about in the video today could be applied to any type of content like blog posts or products or custom post types. All right, let's get started. So if we go to our WordPress admin dashboard, you'll see this events section here is available because I already installed the events calendar plugin and I added a few fictitious events for us to work with. If I open one of these, you can see that I set some of the basic settings like a title for the event, a description, a start time, a location, and we gave the event an image. So what we want to do now is create a layout in Beaver Themer that we can apply to all of our events. So if we come over to the Builder area here and click on Themer Layouts, we can create a new layout. We're going to title this layout Events. And we're going to choose Singular because we want this layout to apply to single event pages as opposed to an archive of all of our events or a theme part or any of these other options. So we'll hit Add Themer Layout. Now in the Themer Layout settings here, we can select where and how we want this layout to be applied. So first things first, we want to make sure that it's being applied to events. So we're going to scroll down here and select event. And then everything else we're going to leave as default. But if we wanted to, what we can do with these location and exclusion rules is choose whether or not we want this layout to apply to all of our events based on maybe a tag or a category. Or reversely, we can exclude this layout from certain tags or categories. And then we could also down in this users section here, select whether or not we want this layout to be applied for all of our users or users that are maybe logged in or logged out or have a certain role within the site. But for now and for this tutorial, we're just gonna keep everything as default and have this layout apply for all of our events and for all of our users. So let's jump into Page Builder and get started building. Now, when you first open up Page Builder, you'll see we have some kind of default content in here. Some of this we're gonna use and some of this we're gonna get rid of. Uh, to begin, I'm just gonna get rid of this whole main content row down here because this all is intended for blog posts and not events. This hero section here though, we can work with. So I want to get rid of the post meta information here because we don't really care about comments or the author. So we'll remove this. And then I wanna tweak the styling on this hero bar row a little bit. And I wanna adjust the padding and make it a little bit shorter. So we're gonna go to the row settings, head over to advanced, and then let's bring the padding down from 150 to about 40. There we go, that looks a little better. So we'll save that. And next, what I wanna do is add the event time and date underneath the title here. So to do that, I'm gonna grab a text editor module and I'm gonna drag it in underneath the title. Now, the difference between Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer is that with Beaver Themer, we introduce this idea called field connections. And what this does is it lets you connect the field, the text editor, to the underlying data of your event or your posts or your product. So instead of just typing in the date and the time, we're gonna click this button here and we're actually gonna connect this to the date and the time that we set in the event custom post type. So we'll scroll down here and you can see event date and time, perfect. So if we click connect, what will happen is that data will override our text editor here. In a lot of cases, that's what we want. We don't wanna have any options to tweak the data. We just wanna override it and stick it in there. But in this case, I do wanna use some of the text styling options. So I'm gonna delete this and go back down here. And instead of using the connect button, I'm gonna use the insert button. And this will insert a short code into the text editor. And then we have access to the text styling options. 
And we could also use this to add multiple different uh, fields or data connections to the same module. Okay, so looking here, what I wanna do is center this text, and then I want to change the color from white to a little bit of an off-white. Okay, that's a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna to go to the text area of the editor and change this from that to like an E6. I think that looks good. Perfect. Okay, and then again, I want to tweak the padding a little bit here or the spacing. So I'm gonna give the margin a zero value and I'll save that. There we go. So the short code just got rendered out into the event date and time. And I'm going to be nitpicky here and I'm going to adjust the margin on the heading as well so that they sit nice and close to each other. All right. Perfect. So next I want to work on the content of the event. So I'm going to go back into the tool area here and grab a two column row. And I'm going to drag that down. And the first thing I want to add in is a map. So if we go to our modules, we can select themer modules here. And these are modules that are only available when you're working in Beaver Themer. And since we have the events calendar installed, we have a whole new list of event specific modules. And we're going to go ahead and grab this event map module and drag that out onto the page. And the default height is fine, so I'm going to save it. All right, there we go. We've got a map of Austin, Texas, and this map can be configured on the events calendar side if we want to have it more zoomed in, but for the sake of this tutorial, that'll be just fine. Next, I want to add some details about the venue underneath the map. So I'm gonna go back to our themer modules, and I'm going to grab event venue, and I'm gonna drag that in underneath. There we go. So we got some information about the venue with the address and a link to a map. And that all looks, well, actually let's go ahead and tweak the spacing a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we'll save that. And then on the other column here, I'm gonna add the event details. Or you know what, I take that back. I'm gonna add the event description. So we'll grab the event description and drag that out. And then again, you can see that this is just a quick little text blurb about the event. It looks fine as is, so I'm gonna save it. And then the last thing I wanna add is the event details underneath that description. And this will show things like the price, the date and time again, and if you added a website or some of the other details that are available in the events calendar, those will show up here. All right. So here we have our page with our event. Everything is laid out and in place the way we want it. Now, since we're using Beaver Themer to build this page, we can preview it as one of our other events just to double check that the styling is working correctly and that everything is loading in properly. So we're gonna move from Beaver Bash Austin to Beaver Bash London, and we're gonna preview this layout using another event. All right, here we go. So the title, the date and time, the featured image, everything is different and everything is now showing the data from our event in London. You can see the map has been updated and we even got the website showing up down there. The description is different. So we'll go ahead and click done and publish this out. And we're all set. We have a layout that we created in Beaver Themer that is now gonna to apply to all of the events we create on this site. All right, so that's gonna do it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.